it's Alex and you are watching Peach Perfect. Just in case you're new here, new to my channel, um, definitely subscribe. I've got a lot of really good videos coming up here soon. Two things before we get started with our review. Um, one, I do have an Amazon wish list. Uh, a lot of people have been DMing me wanting to get me things that they can pick out themselves. So that's a really good way to do it. So I try to update that like once a week, once every two weeks. So there's some, there's some clothes, there's some lingerie, there's some undies, there's some bikinis. So there's all sorts of good stuff on that. Also, I do have a Patreon account. So if you want to see lots of really exclusive content, weekly selfies, um, reviews that are not going to be posted anywhere else, check the Patreon out because you're not going to find any of some of the content that I put on there anywhere else. So, um, I am fresh out of the shower, so wet hair, no makeup. We're getting ready to go out in a little while, so I figured I'd jump on here and do a quick review of something that is somewhat new to me. Influencer boxes. So, basically, and everything about this and influencer themselves will be in the bio of this video, a link to everything. So if you want to get one for yourself or want to get one for a friend or whatever, you can get one. So you can have all the information on that. Um, so it's there's a lot of these kind of boxes kind of going around right now. You know, I think there's Vox Box and all sorts of things. Um, but this is called the Influencer Box. And basically what it is is you get it like once a month and it's just got a lot of different products that allow you to kind of try different things before you go out and buy them. And it's usually related to like food and health and beauty and stuff like that. So this month, let's go over what I got. So this is 100% whole grain flour, crusties protein pancake mix. So I am personally like 95% gluten free. I, I very rarely do gluten. It just destroys my digestive system. I'm burping it up. My stomach's upset. I get indigestion. So I'm I'm not. I don't have celiacs. I haven't been diagnosed with celiacs. I'm just very insensitive to gluten. So this probably won't be something that I can do a lot of. Like if we make these, I might have a couple bites, but it, it'll destroy me because it is gluten. Um, but. I love this because it is protein. Like so many of these, you know, just the, the waffles or the, the pancake mixes are just just that. There's nothing, you know, in them that make them like the true protein. So I, I do like that because I'm definitely about the protein when you're in the gym as much as I am. Um, and overall, they're pretty healthy. The one thing that I really look at when I'm eating anything is sodium. I'm very sensitive to sodium. My fingers swell from salt. Years ago, probably when I was in maybe middle school, both my parents, who do not fit the profile of high blood pressure, they're both tall, thin, active, but they both got diagnosed with high blood pressure and one of the first things that their doctor said was to cut out sodium. Sorry, I'm like choking because the pollen is still terrible, so bear with me. I'm trying not to die from this pollen. But, um, so that was one of the first things that they cut out. So ever since middle school or high school, I really, I, I don't cook with salt. I don't need a lot of salt. I'm not a fan of salt. So whenever we go out, it's like all these restaurants that just use cups and cups and cups and cups of salt. It's just, it just kills me. So it's 600 milligrams for nine servings, which is about um, a half cup of the mix. So not too, too bad. But I'll be interested to see what they taste like. I'll let y'all know. So the next thing is African black soap. So I actually used, not this brand, but I've actually used this uh, a type of African black soap years ago. When I was late teens, early 20s, I developed severe nodular acne. Severe. And it's all because of hormone related stuff. Um, all, all the, all the fun feminine stuff that, that women deal with. And I got horrible, horrible cystic acne. This was one of the things that I had tried. I feel like it worked a little bit, but I feel like the underlying issue was hormones. And so since then I've been put on a hormone birth control that has regulated everything and it's kept my face clear. So 
I'll be interested to try this again now that my hormones are in check. So, because I did, I love the smell. It has a wonderful, I, I can't even describe the smell. It's very, it's very unique, but it is truly black. Like this is, this is, this, this little paper is clear. So it really is truly black. So, so I'll be interested to try that again. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This pollen is killing me. So I am a Burt's Bees chapstick addict. Like anybody that knows me, I've got one next to my bed and in my purse and in my in my pocket at work and by the couch. So I love Burt's Bees products, but I have never tried their ooh, their toothpaste before. So, and especially being a dental hygienist, I'm all about trying new products. One thing that I was happy to see, I know that fluoride is a like crazy controversial topic. As a dental professional, I am all about fluoride. Yes, if you're taking tubes of toothpaste with fluoride and you're swallowing all of it, yeah, you can probably get some fluorosis and toxicity from, yeah, that's, I mean, don't drink a bottle of Act fluoride. But if you're using it the right way, I am all about fluoride. Um, I'm, I am cavity prone. I drink water, I brush, I floss, I rinse, I do everything that I should. It's just my oral flora. It's just the, the pH in my mouth is a little bit more acidic. When I tested it in hygiene school, it just came out a little more acidic. So I am more prone to cavities, which really sucks because I do all the right things, but it's okay. So I am definitely all about a fluoride toothpaste. So I'll be interested to try this. It looks like it's just Mountain Mint. So, a little too a toothpaste. So I'll be excited to try that because I'm usually, I usually just use whatever I've got at the office. So I'll be excited to try that. Um, so I've never used one of these things and I see, I see a lot of, um, women especially have them on their phones. It's one of those little pop-up things and it's got the Trisket symbol on there. So I know, I don't really know if this will go with my phone. My phone's all black. Um, but I've never used one of these before. I, a lot of people say they love them and it helps just hold on to it and all that, but I've never tried one before. So maybe I'll put that on my phone. All right, and the last thing, sorry, my feet were going numb. Let's see, I know they had sent, okay, so this is, and I've been seeing a lot of commercials about this. So this is that little Pantene Intense Rescue Shot. It looks like my hair could use it right now. I mean, it's still half wet, but. So treatment targets extreme damage, helps prevent split ends, um, and basically, so what you do after washing your hair with Pantene shampoo and conditioner, dispense the product into your hand, apply onto damp hair and massage from mid length to ends and then rinse thoroughly. Okay. So it's something that you use in the shower after you have washed and um, conditioned your hair. So I'll definitely be interested to try this because I've seen a bunch of the commercials on the, on these. So I'll, I'll, I'll I'd love to see how it works. My problem is, is that I've got super, I don't have really thin hair, but I've got really fine hair. I don't have few hairs, it's just very thin, like fine. So my hair gets really, really greasy, really, really easily. So I am one of those people, I have to wash my hair on a daily basis. Not only because it gets greasy, also because I'm in the medical profession and I'm covered in blood and spit and pus and throw up by the end of the day. So. I'm, I'm also washing my hair for different reasons, but because of the grease factor, I definitely have to wash it <clears throat> more than I would like to. But this, these kind of things kind of worry me just because usually they're very moisturizing. So I'm sure it'll help my hair, but I'm sure it'll also make me look like I just put a bottle of coconut oil on my head because any kind of products that have moisturizing in it Oh my gosh, it looks like I haven't washed my hair in, in two weeks. It's just my hair is really sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely see how that works out. So I'll give all this stuff a try and maybe I'll do another video just to let y'all know how I like them. Um, but yeah, so, and they also send like little, little coupons, like Triscuit coupons and stuff like that. So, and it also came with another, um, coupon for the, the Pantene rescue shot. 
So yeah, it's just a great way to one, get, you know, some little sample size, you know, stuff of the, that you might not try regularly and it kind of gives you the opportunity to try it out before you buy, you know, a big bottle or whatever. So if you're interested in getting an influencer box, just go to the info in the bio and there will be links to everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm, this is, I think, the third one that I've gotten. And one of the other ones I had gotten like some makeup, like there was some kind of contouring stuff, which if you all know me, no makeup, I have no idea how to use that. So that will be interesting to see. And it came with like false eyelashes and one came with um, like a pasta sauce. So a lot of really cool things that, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily try just on my own. And that's why these boxes are cool because it kind of, you know, forces you to go outside of what you would normally buy. So I will do um, maybe another video on everything that I tried and how I liked it. But I hope that was helpful. Like I said, if you want to try one out, just click the link in the bio and you can get set up for one for yourself. But I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. We're getting ready to go out, so I probably will throw on some makeup and do something with this with this wet hair here in a little bit, but I hope you all have a great weekend. Again, as always, if you wanna find me on Instagram, you can find me at MyPeachPerfect, and my personal account is Badass Glass, and I hope you all have a great weekend.